um, in how they serve that community there in Knoxville. Some of you may remember one of Aesop's fables about an old crow who was very thirsty. And this crow came to a jug, and it had some water in the bottom, and he put his beak in it, but the beak couldn't reach down to where the water was. And this wise old crow had an idea. And so he went out and he started getting pebbles one at a time. He'd fly off and bring it back and drop it in to the, uh, to the neck there. After a while, he had dropped in enough. The water had risen and he was able to get a drink. I'd like to think that that's an illustration of how God wants to work in the world today. Each of us has a pebble or a gift that we can contribute. And so as we start contributing our gifts, our pebbles, whether it be you know, teaching Sunday school or ushering or uh, being a communion assistant or helping with uh, the preschool or you name it, when all of that has been brought together, then what an amazing amount of water we can help to water and plant God's world. I think that's what it's all about. I think that's what we're called to do. Does it sound familiar when we say God's work, our hands? Now the question, the obvious question becomes, are you dropping in your pebble? Are you doing your part to help to be a part of that which God has intended for this world? That's a question only you can answer. You know, their question about what I'm talking about is foolish to the world. The cross is foolishness to the world. We as the church are a bit foolish to the world. But the question also is, are all these things foolish to you too? Are you willing to be part of God's foolishness for the sake of the world? Amen.
living together as people of the cross, let us now profess together our Christian faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Guided by the light of Christ, who has been made known to the nations, we offer our prayers for the church, the world, and all people in need. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the life and opportunity that you have set before us. We ask you this day to bless our confirmands, Ben Shale, Jared Blanchard, Maddie Slunt, Hannah Embry, Brianna Dialbus, and Callista Rekin, as we place in their hands this day the Holy Scriptures, we ask that you would help us to follow their example, to do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with your Son, our Savior, Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dearest Lord Jesus, we proclaim you crucified and risen that we might have life and have it in abundance. We ask you to send us from this place this day to overflow into the community and the world that through us as your ambassadors, you might bless those who are poor in spirit, the sons and daughters of apathy and obstinance who do not know you nor the power of your resurrection. Help us to demonstrate to them the values of Christ and draw them into your fold. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Most Holy Spirit, we ask for your church throughout all the world, for our bishops and our pastors. We ask your blessings on those who stand watch on our behalf, our military and naval forces, our first responders. We ask you to send your holy angels to have watch over us and keep us from all evil. We pray for all those in need of healing in this congregation and this community. And we pray for those who grieve and who mourn. Please be with us all and especially be with Mary and Jacobine and the Anderson family and those we name silently in our hearts before you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Radiant God, hear the prayers of your people, spoken or silent for the sake of the one who has made his dwelling among us, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share the peace with one another.
teenager after the death. They were in place in his, in the hand of his mother, the Holy Spirit. Trust me, that through their study and prayer, the Holy Spirit will keep their hearts and minds all in the future. I ask that as we hand this box down, and as the council members pray over the contents, that you join in, not just today, but through the rest of their work and learning, so that we can help pass on the knowledge that we have and help bring them closer to Jesus. Let us now receive our tithes and offerings to the Lord.
us pray. God of all creation, all you have made is good, and your love endures forever. You bring forth bread from the earth and fruit from the vine. Nourish us with these gifts that we might be for the world signs of your gracious presence in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ. By the leading of a star, he was shown forth to all nations. In the waters of the Jordan, you proclaimed him your beloved son. And in the miracle of water turned to wine, he revealed your glory. And so, with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. our Lord Jesus took the bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again after supper he took the cup, gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you and all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God. And you may be seated. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Lord, it is good for us to be here, for we have tasted your glory in this holy meal. Continue your goodness as we go out from here. Open our eyes to see your face shining in every person and send us to be your servants in every place. For you are the life and light of all, both now and forever. Amen. Now may the glory of God dwell in you richly, name you beloved, and shine brightly on your path. And the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.
want to make sure as you are generous in your giving that the, uh, the funds that we give here for the Super Bowl locally will go to MICA Ministries, which is very important. And then I just learned that Thrivent will match these, what is a three for one matching? So we think that's outstanding. Then even though Spike said it, in your boxes today are the newsletters. And if you didn't get your annual report, we really want to have you take those today. And what am I not supposed to forget? <laughs> oh, I think that's what I was emphasizing. Donna says, don't forget your donation, right? Okay. Go in peace. Christ is your light.